Diving into the world of real estate investments is essentially a quest to amplify your financial gains. As a property owner who rents out space, the allure of steady, passive income is undeniable. Yet, clinging to a rental property beyond its prime is fraught with potential pitfalls. The question then arises, when is the ideal moment to part ways with your rental investment? Selecting the optimal time for selling resembles trying to nail the perfect combination in a lottery, it's often a shot in the dark. Forecasting the real estate market's exact fluctuations is akin to guessing the winning numbers in a lottery draw, a formidable challenge. But it's not just market trends you need to watch. The decision to sell should also factor in the personal investment of your time, the effort required, and the level of satisfaction you get from being a property manager. These elements are crucial in deciding whether it's time to sell and move forward. Should I sell or keep my investment property? In the end, the decision to sell your investment property becomes financially prudent when you're aiming to reinvest the profits into more lucrative ventures or broaden your investment horizons. If you're contemplating saying goodbye to your rental property, pay attention to these indicators that it might be the right time. And if you're finding this discussion insightful, consider subscribing to our channel for more such informative content, ensuring you stay well informed in your real estate journey. Stay tuned for more. When to sell investment property. Contemplate offloading your investment property during a seller's market when the financial returns eclipse the potential growth in property value and the passive income from rentals. Should you choose not to sell in such a market, it's wise to earmark those would-be profits for reinvesting in more promising opportunities or for diversifying your investment portfolio. 1. Being a landlord is more trouble than it's worth. As someone who manages a rental property, you're well acquainted with its continuous demands. Since urgent maintenance issues don't confine themselves to regular hours, being on call constantly is part and parcel of the job, which can be exhausting. Ever heard about the landlord who dealt with a tenant involved in illegal activities, leading to an FBI intervention? Or the story of the tenant who left suddenly, leaving her cats unattended for weeks? Such nightmarish scenarios are all too common. If you've been in the landlord game for a while, you likely have a few tales of your own. Business ventures often start with high hopes and the belief that your experience will surpass others. However, reality can often diverge from expectations. Selling your rental property might be the right move if you find that managing the property is overwhelming and you're stretched thin. You constantly face issues with your tenants. What was supposed to be a part-time endeavor has evolved into a full-time commitment. Challenges for landlords aren't just about tenant troubles. There are also the headaches of upkeep, property value fluctuations, and even natural disasters like earthquakes and floods to consider. If the hassles outweigh the financial returns, it might be time to consider parting ways with your property. When the burden of ensuring a habitable environment for tenants becomes too much, or if dealing with difficult tenants is draining, it could be a sign you've reached your limit. It's a significant commitment to being a landlord, and if the enthusiasm for this role has waned, selling the property might bring a sense of relief. Two, your property is now worth more than when you bought it. In the realm of real estate investing, the ultimate goal is to boost property value. If you've skillfully renovated your property and its current value exceeds your purchase price, selling might be more profitable than renting it out. Perhaps you acquired a property in an area that has since flourished and prospered. That's excellent news. This growth almost certainly indicates an increase in your property's worth. If you're prepared to capitalize on this gain, this might be the indicator you've been waiting for. Three you no longer see a positive cash flow. When you find yourself incurring losses each month, it's time to reassess your situation. Various factors could be causing a decline in your cash flow, and it's not always someone's fault. Expenses such as taxes, utilities, and insurance might have increased, or perhaps the market rental rates have declined, or maybe it's a combination of both. Your motivation for becoming a landlord was likely financial gain, not the thrill or prestige. Real estate is a financial balancing act, if your income surpasses your expenses, you're on the right track. But if your expenses outstrip your income, you're in a losing situation. Acknowledging that it's time to rapidly offload your investment property is tough. It may seem more disheartening than enduring monthly financial losses. However, there's a straightforward way to remove emotion from the decision-making process. As the Washington Post suggests. Consider if you would purchase this investment now. Investors often cling to underperforming assets, hoping for a turnaround. But if you wouldn't buy this investment today, it's time to let it go. Also, take into account capital gains taxes, which might be around 22% of the sale price, the cost of any necessary repairs, and the prospect of enduring negative cash flow indefinitely. When you consider all these aspects, you might find that the numbers have been chosen for you. 
4. You're ready to move on. Circumstances evolve. Perhaps your yearning for a change of environment or an alternate venture has captured your interest. Regardless of your motives for being a landlord, you have every right to make choices that favor your well-being. If a shift in your life's direction is what you seek, and managing a rental property no longer aligns with your goals, then putting it up for sale is a sensible decision. At times, new opportunities arise, sparking the desire for a fresh start. This isn't necessarily about troublesome tenants or maintenance headaches. For instance, your online business might be flourishing, or your investments in the stock market are yielding good returns. There's another aspect to consider. Selling a rental property can be laden with challenges, undertaking repairs, dealing with a constant flow of prospective buyers, and other nuisances. Are you prepared to handle these demands? Astute investors, be it in real estate or other fields, always have an exit plan. They are clear about their investment limits, the risks they're willing to take, and their ultimate objectives. Once you've fulfilled your objectives as a landlord and investor, it's worth contemplating the sale of your property. Continuing to hold onto it could lead to unnecessary expenditure of time, effort, and finances. 5. You can no longer afford the maintenance. It's no secret that the expenses linked to maintaining a rental property can accumulate significantly. As the owner, you have the responsibility to ensure the property is safe and meets all health and safety standards. While some repairs might be manageable as do-it-yourself tasks, others can significantly dent your finances. If you're struggling to afford major repairs or keep up with maintenance needs, selling might be the viable solution. According to data from HUD, there are approximately 48.5 million rental units in the United States, with nearly half owned by individual investors. Being a landlord involves both financial and time commitments. For some, the rising costs and tenant issues become overwhelming. Consider selling if you encounter situations like necessary major repairs, such as roof replacement, mold removal, or HVAC system overhaul, an increase in property taxes, regular late payments or non-payment of rent by tenants, costly damages are caused by tenants who then leave the property, challenges in attracting tenants due to changes in the neighborhood or city, such as major employers relocating or industries closing down, management and staffing expenses for the property exceed your budget, inadequate management by on-site staff, leading to excessive complaints or issues. 6. You can read the writing on the wall. You're no stranger to the challenges of rental properties and difficult tenants. You're aware that even if your financials are solid now, they may not always stay that way. After all, sellers' markets don't last forever. The millennial-driven demand fueling current market highs is bound to level off eventually. Economic growth in your area might be on the brink of a downturn. As the famous song by Kenny Rogers goes, it's crucial to know when to stay the course and when to walk away. For those pondering the right time to sell a rental property, even a seasoned gambler would concur that capitalizing on the most lucrative seller's market since 2007 is as opportune a moment as any. 7. You experience a major life event. In life, if there's one constant, it's unpredictability. Even with meticulous planning and caution, unforeseen events are bound to occur. Significant life milestones often intersect with the responsibilities of managing a rental property. You could be celebrating a new addition to your family, a wedding, or an adoption. On the other hand, you might be navigating through more challenging times like a divorce, a loss in the family, or facing personal health issues, all of which can divert your attention from your rental properties. Relocating for work is another scenario that could arise. Managing properties from afar introduces a whole new level of complexity, not to mention figuring out the optimal time to sell. Whatever the reason, major shifts in life can consume your time and resources, prompting a thorough reassessment of your engagement in rental property management. 8. You have better ways to generate passive income. Investing in real estate can be an effective way to create a source of passive income. However, real estate investment isn't the only option available, and like in most investment strategies, diversifying your portfolio is crucial. There's a range of alternatives for generating passive income, including dividends, bonds, certificates of deposit, CDs, and real estate investment trusts, rights. Among these, real estate investment is often not the simplest, as any experienced landlord or property owner can attest. Indeed, as pointed out by Financial Samurai in their assessment of passive income sources, real estate investing ranks high in terms of the effort required. If managing rental properties feels like another regular job to you, this might not be a significant concern. However, if your goal in entering the realm of real estate investing was to establish a truly hands-off income stream, the level of involvement required might lead you to reconsider the timing of selling your rental property. 9. 
your net worth is tied up in one portfolio. As previously mentioned, diversification of assets is crucial, regardless of whether your investments are in real estate or the stock market. Having your entire net worth concentrated in a single area, like just one rental property or solely in real estate, suggests a need for diversification. When a single type of asset constitutes 50% or more of your investment portfolio, it's a clear sign to reevaluate and adjust your holdings. The rationale is simple. In the event of a housing market downturn, you wouldn't want to compromise your financial well-being and future security by lacking a diversified investment strategy. If your investments are heavily skewed towards real estate, selling a rental property to broaden your investment horizon with other types of assets could be a wise move. 10. You're a remote landlord. The role of a landlord comes with its fair share of challenges. You need to locate and vet potential tenants, handle the necessary paperwork, and comply with various regulations. Then there's the task of managing difficult tenants, not to mention the seemingly endless repairs. Staying on top of these responsibilities demands considerable time and energy, regardless of your location. However, overseeing rental properties from afar introduces additional complications to an already demanding job. Every property showing, maintenance call, or inspection potentially means a phone call, a long drive, or even a flight, which can significantly add to your time and financial investment. If you're overseeing properties from a distance, selling might be a practical option. You could then reinvest closer to home, reducing the stress and logistical challenges. Should I sell my rental property? When the indicators suggest it's time to sell your rental property, acting swiftly is key. You don't want to be burdened with mortgage payments on an unoccupied rental for longer than necessary, as this equates to wasted funds. However, selling a rental property can be complex. Let's examine some typical challenges. Tenant issues. Dealing with tenants is the first hurdle. When planning to sell a rental that's occupied, it's crucial to be well informed about the regulations that govern tenant and landlord rights. Regardless of legal requirements, it's best practice to notify your tenants well in advance of your intention to sell. They should also be informed about potential property viewings, which means the property needs to be clean, repaired, and presentable, quite the task. Having your tenants on your side during this process is beneficial, so maintaining respect and open communication is important. Tax considerations. Next, let's delve into tax implications. Selling an investment property means you're liable for capital gains taxes. However, the tax amount varies based on your profit from the sale. Maximizing profit doesn't always equate to tax efficiency. To mitigate your tax liability, keep track of deductible expenses related to renting out the property. The IRS allows deductions for mortgage interest, depreciation, operating expenses, property taxes, repairs. Restructuring your investment venture into an LLC can be advantageous. Selling the property under an LLC allows for easier reinvestment of profits and potential capital gains tax avoidance. A rapid sale followed by reinvestment in a similar property might also enable you to bypass certain taxes through a 1031 exchange. Whichever strategy you choose, consulting a tax professional and seeking legal advice is always prudent. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide on recognizing the right time to sell your rental property. Navigating the complex world of real estate investments is no easy feat, but being equipped with the right knowledge can make all the difference in making informed decisions. Now, if you're keen on further enhancing your real estate savvy, there's more valuable insight just a click away. Delve into our next video, which covers real estate mistakes to avoid. This is an essential watch for anyone looking to refine their investment strategies and avoid common pitfalls that could impact your financial success. Remember, the journey in real estate is as much about learning what not to do as it is about making the right moves. So, take this opportunity to broaden your understanding and continue on your path to real estate mastery. Click on the video on the screen now and step up your real estate game.